I honestly don't understand. It's the 97 word question on the ballot next week in Palm Beach County. I thought I, I, yeah, I thought I had it. I don't know that I do have it. it Isaac doesn't understand it. Neither do Jaquaris. So I don't know how to vote on this. Chad. I mean, I'm not quite sure. Or how. Well, you'd have to explain it to me. So I did the research to clear up the confusion. What are we talking about today with this ballot measure? Jonathan Brown is the county's director of housing and economic development. He explains the tax incentive program has been in place for 20 years, and again, voters will have to decide whether they support tax breaks for new and expanding businesses. Uh, it, it's an opportunity for us to create uh, uh, jobs. In exchange, the county agrees to wipe all or some of the company's county property taxes for up to 10 years. You have to be creating high paying jobs, you have to be within a targeted industry cluster, and you have to physically be building a building or purchasing a large amount of machinery and equipment. Over the last decade, just six companies have benefited. The county says it's resulted in over six million in tax breaks that have generated more than 300 million. Over the next five years, the county projects it will result in nearly two billion in economic impact. The larger the number of jobs and the salaries and the capital investment that the company is bringing in, the higher the exemption. But again, this is used in very rare cases. So how does Hal feel about it? Okay, so they're going to put money in our economy. Okay, that that's good. How about Chad? Well, just it's, it's bringing the businesses here. It's it's blood in the economy. How about you? A 97-word question you'll see on the ballot on Tuesday. Michael Hoffman, WPTV News.